Oh, well, hi there, Freddy. There we go. Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm uh, upbeat. I love the weather. This stormy spring, humid weather, I'm loving it. And the pitching, trapping couldn't be any better. So, what I have decided to do today, mixing it up, we're starting at the truck stop. That's right. Ooh, that's a pretty bird right there. Check that bird out. That's a red bird, Auburn. Lots and lots and lots of pretty birds here. Uh, I have a good feeling we'll have some birds in the trap. I have not been up there yet. I'm just getting the day going here, getting it ramped up with y'all. First of all, if y'all have not subscribed, anybody who hasn't, a uh, big shout out to the ones that have, but the ones that haven't, if you like the pigeon trapping, we're gonna be doing it all summer. Pigeon hunting, uh, lots of cool videos coming all summer long, but I'm not gonna blab a lot today. We're gonna get right down to business. My goal for this video is in the next two, three days, we'll just see how it goes. But in a short amount of time, I wanna see how many birds we can track. Now, already in, uh, I would say three days, we've trapped about 20. Yeah, not bad. So, I don't know what goal I have in mind, but I just wanna trap a lot. With it raining, there's a bunch of water on the rooftops, and when you put a little food with the water, the birds cannot deny it. They love it, they can't resist it, they wanna get in there and eat and go right in the trap. So, I'm hoping I'm correct on my thoughts. I guess if we get up there and the trap's empty, I'm an idiot. Just kidding. All right, I got everything. Fred, you stay in the truck, buddy. I will be right back. Here we go. This is our ladder entrance. Bear with me. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I have an idea for the second spot that we're going after this one. Uh, it's for a little homemade water catcher that I think will help a lot. Do we have anything? Ugh. Kind of doesn't look like it. Well, that's not good. Hmm. I left. I left one or two birds in here. I left two birds in here. Now there's none. This is unhooked to which I don't think I left it unhooked last time I was up here this other guy's trap doesn't look like any fresh bait is in that that's what I was worried about I don't believe anybody messed with it there were two pigeons in there last time I caught them in here we caught Eight. Eight. How did two get out in one day? I watched them for a while when I came back up here the last time when we caught them. It'd be hard to get out of that, but man, they might have. Darn it. It's a homemade trap. I think it's failing us. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go get the trail camera. So we're going to go. We'll go check. Yeah, it's time. It's past time. I'm going to go. Uh, what we're going to do? That's that's a bummer because I, I should at least have my two bait birds in there that I left. Either someone's tampering with it or they got out. Uh, we're going to put the trail camera up here. That'll probably be about five, seven minutes for you guys. Maybe five couple days no it'll be it'll be a day for me <laughs> that's a bummer I'm not gonna lie well I'm gonna throw some new bait in it get her baited back up with as much foot traffic as up here and other people trapping I feel a lot safer if every time I came up I just switched the cards out in the trail camera just to make sure that nobody's messing with it and if birds are getting out through this door well then that just means one thing we're gonna have to get a new trap like my other one let's head to the next spot 
Never changes. I'm always tired at the top of them stairs. Let's see if we got anything. Do we have any? Yes. Yes. One more. So in this trap, uh, the last time we were up here, we left two bait birds in here. And look at that. We got another one. That makes three. Well, man, the trapping just lit up right out the bat. And now it's like slowing down again. It went, you know. Well, I'm gonna get him loaded up. I'll leave two bait birds in here. This is my slick idea that I came up with for water at this location because to tell you the truth, lugging a lot of anything, uh, basically getting supplies up here. Yeah, that's where I parked right there. Getting them all the way up here. You should have seen me the time that I tried, that I tried, that I managed to get that trap up here. Yeah, so what I usually do is uh, when I need to refill their water, um, I always bring up two bottles of water. Well, anyways, I'm gonna have to go back down and get it. I brought a bucket, another five gallon bucket, just like this one, that I'm gonna wedge in between these two bricks to hold it so it don't blow away. <clears throat> and it's gonna be my rain catcher. Yes, uh, self-service rain catcher, water catcher, so I can refill up their water drinker right here. So, I think it's a good idea. What do y'all think? Any more little slick tricks like that, you guys gotta drop a comment down below. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace the homemade trap. So if you guys know of any traps, which I'm gonna try to find this one again and buy this one. But if you guys know of any other awesome traps like this one on the old interweb for sale, don't be scared. Please drop a link to them down in the comment section because I'm gonna buy probably a couple. Alrighty, as you can tell, I got this trap all baited up, ready to go. We're leaving two bait birds in there. And like I said, what I did over here, brought up an extra uh, bucket, wedged it in between these two cinder blocks. That way we can be uh, self-sufficient up here with the old H2O and collect it, collect the rainwater, fill up the water feeder. I think it's awesome. I need more ideas like that. Anything to help me. So what'll be cool is when we come back up here, probably tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully it rains again overnight, which it's supposed to. We'll see how much uh, rain we've collected. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Woo, back at home, we got our bird. We're gonna throw him in the loft real quick. Uh, Y'all seen my loft on the, the uh, what, last two videos? One thing about it, I want to build a little access door, uh, just like a little spring assisted door, like, let's say, like right here on the door maybe, or right here somewhere, to where I don't have to open up the entire thing. I've lost two birds, two feral birds, due to them being extremely weary, fast, um, I open it just a little bit and I have had two go whoop. So it's um, one thing I don't want to do is lose them. I'm trying to make a dollar off of these pigeons. And uh, y'all know that we're going to sell them. Uh, we're going to build them up until we got about, I don't know, 20, 30 in here and then sell them off each and every time. And if I keep losing them, we're not going to have anything to sell off. Put it that way. Oh, well, hi there, Freddy Rico. Next, no, not next day. This is day th three of the video. I came and checked yesterday. Absolutely nothing again. I don't know if it's been the stormy weather. I do not know if I just caught them all already. And look, golly. I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. This, how do you go from trapping eight literally like that to nothing nothing plus our bait bird that we left in here is still gone i don't think this trap is holding them <sighs> nothing new still out of shape and out of breath oh there we go 
All right, do we have anything? Uh, yeah, look at that. This trap has not failed me yet. Well, we left two bait birds in here. Check it out. We gained one. There we go. That's cool, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'll take one out. It's going slow. My, it started off with a big bang and now it's slowed down. Uh, really doesn't surprise me to be honest. Um, it's kind of how it always goes every season. Boom, and then it slows down and then the babies hatch, so boom. So hopefully these babies start hatching and we start catching some more birds. But with that one there, what's that at? Like, I think we're approaching 20 for the season. So not bad for like a week worth of trapping so far. Okay, it's okay. Uh, get him out. Ugh. Oh, there he is. Look at that old bird. Really old bird. No bands on him. Oh yeah, and as for our water bucket, look, it hasn't rained one bit in the last two days. Uh, what, yeah, two days ago, man, it was pouring. I mean, there was water everywhere. Now it's dried up for the last two days. Gosh, my plans can never go exactly how I want them to. That's for sure. But I am gonna go ahead and grab here, this one, leave that there, and leave, no, 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 he almost got out. Leave those two water bottles there because with no rain, I have a feeling I'm gonna need them later. Well, here we are. It is a day or so later, and still nothing. I can see it from here. Oh, yeah, this trap here. Nothing. There has been nothing in that bad boy at all. Actually, look at that. All of the bait is gone from inside of the trap. Check it out. Literally all of it. And the trap has not moved. What's that tell you? The birds are going in, eating, and getting out. This door here, the swinging system, like I've said, I don't know how many times now, she ain't gonna work. Well, I guess it don't matter. I'm forced to remove my trap, so I'm gonna move it over to the wall. I'll tell you guys why at the next spot. I got mama's ride today. My truck is in the shop getting some yummies. Yummies put on it. Well, we're at the next spot. And like, a, oh, that's a pre, oh. Did you just see what that was? That was a red and white pigeon. Ooh, well, let's get in here. <sighs> All right, here we go. Hopefully we got some. Ooh, there goes one right by the, okay. We got, we did catch some more. We did have uh, the bait birds in here like I left them the last time and we caught one more. So we got two bait birds and a new bird. There we go. So, three birds to take home, and did we catch any water? Just a drip. I knew it rained, but I didn't know how much. It actually rained over here in town. I guess what's good is uh, while I'm gone, so the reason I have to pull the traps, I'm gonna load these birds up in the old carrying cart here. Get them home in the loft. Put this trap over here for now because dun, 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 I'm taking the entire family to Hawaii. Yes. Uh, big shout out to Chris and Gavin. Y'all remember Chris and Gavin? Gavin's uh, the, what is he, 13 year, 12? Uh, 12 year old boy that can out shoot pretty much anybody. Yeah, they're two of my clients that were here last year and they actually went to South Dakota to snow goose hunt with me. Yes, those two. Uh, Chris, long story short, has a condo in Kauai, Hawaii. And I uh, hope I pronounced that right. And uh, we're gonna stay there for like 10 days. 
Uh, Chris got me in touch with a local and he's gonna take me spear fishing. And yes, peoples, I am making them vidges. Oh yeah, hopefully get a couple videos out of the 10 days, but I'm really looking forward to the spear fishing videos. That I, I hope I won't be a chicken. It's a little scary. This, this kid that I'm going with, man, he's no joke. No joke at all. He dives down and there's sharks and stuff. I'm from Kansas, I don't know about it. <laughs> Well, just got the three new birds in here and check it out. That makes 15 birds that we have trapped so far this season. Now, I did uh, read, I, I read every uh, comment in every single video, just so you know. And I did read a lot of you guys that were saying that I need to put a solid wall in between both feral and my loft birds just to keep disease from spreading over from the feral pigeons great idea i am going to do that but first since construction has started on the lodge i gotta move this whole rickety system over about two foot to four foot and it's not going to be easy me and my dad are doing that today but uh i you know you can call it kick click bait and you can call it whatever you want forced to remove traps i titled this video for a reason and the reason is is that i've been saying it and i'm not going to quit saying it this entire hunting season this year starting just more and more and more i will be preaching hunting ethics trapping ethics ethics in general for the outdoorsman let me let me clarify my point real quick i'm not going to make it long i promise via TikTok, social media in general i'm seeing a lot of young guys do a lot of dumb you know what it really it really makes me upset i i don't get serious like this very often but i'm gonna a lot and um if you have a buddy or you see an acquaintance or you if you see something on instagram TikTok, anything where guys are playing with a wounded bird that they should have wrung its neck or something like that you need to get on there and comment and say delete this immediately something get this stuff needs to stop um what i'm getting at is when when you play with wounded birds in the blind and let them walk around and video them and upload them or do anything like that or if you leave traps up on a roof uh for you know almost two weeks not being checked and birds end up dying in there hunting ethics hunting ethics hunting ethics have ethics good ethics because guess what our outdoor industry is dying it is getting suffocated all right and i'm not kidding it's from the top down and uh, all of us outdoorsmen and hunters we got to carry ourselves right and correct we got to look like like we care i mean honestly you got to care if you don't care you don't need to be in the sport you don't need to be in the industry you don't need to be doing it enough said enough said but subscribe if you haven't. Uh, there's going to be some awesome Hawaii videos coming y'all's way. Like I said, spear fishing. Hopefully I can get that done. Uh, but there's going to be, man, regular fishing, spear fishing. The condo we're staying at. We're going to go on some awesome uh, catamaran excursions. Everything. I have never lived on a beach for 10 days. But this Kansas boy is headed to the water, boys. Hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. And if you haven't, and maybe you want to, check out all of the dope products over at Ducks Waterfowl. I will always link all the Ducks gear down in the description below. Thank y'all for being here, but until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism.